He should be happy. He is always happy. We're delighted to be here today. It's been a, a little while since we were here, class. We were here when they opened the office. She has CRS. She can't remember stuff. <laughs> and I'm even worse. Okay. I guess that's the signal. We're here today to tell you of something I know nothing about. Me. No, actually, uh, Wendy said that I joke around, and I don't know where she got that, but I don't joke around. I am a joker. Actually, what I'd like to say today is I want to thank all of you for being part of Jeunesse, and I don't know how many of you were able to go with us to China for our opening of Dao Le Zui. I don't know how many of you were able to go with us to Kenya for the opening of the schools and the uh, medical clinic in Kenya, but you and your efforts have helped us fulfill part of my dreams that I had when I was a little kid. I'm sure all of you have dreams or had dreams. Um, my dreams when I was a little boy is I was going to finally get to where I had some food to eat. I think I went overboard. <clears throat> yeah, I did. Um, but I was going to have clothes to wear that were my clothes. They were new clothes. Um, I wanted to live in a house that had electricity. I never lived in a house that had electricity. But I wanted to. We never had a car. I wanted to have a car. And I wanted to travel all over the world and meet people from all the different countries around the world. And with God's help, I've been able to do all of that. And the fact that you guys are helping us. For those of you who have not been able to travel with us to see the children in these uh, villages that we're building the schools and medical clinics for. I have to tell you that when you look in the eyes of a child and you see the love and unconditional love that they have for you, they're just so trusting. Um, it'll break your heart. I mean, I, in Kenya, I've cried so much because these little kids, this one little boy was about maybe five, he had snot running out of his nose, into his mouth, he had holes in his sweater, he had no shoes. Reminded me of me when I was a little like that. And he was holding his hand up, big smile, waiting for somebody to do a high five. Nobody did. So I looked down there and I went over and I gave him a high five and he latched onto my leg and I had snot all, all down my leg. And he wouldn't turn loose. And I'm trying to walk, I got this kid hanging on my leg. And the teacher said, the reason he won't turn loose, he's never had a friend. So you're his first friend. And then of course you can imagine what that is. <laughs> Turned on the faucet and I started crying. But um, we have been able to do a lot of wonderful things because of you. And I want you to know that all of your efforts are going for a very good cause. You can have wonderful dreams and you have to believe in the dreams, but you also have to recognize the timing. If the timing is right for you to take hold of the opportunity, and run with it. That's what we've been fortunate enough to do over the years. When I met Randy, we started a medical software company 
and we became number one in the United States for eight years in a row. We recognized that medical software, things coming on computer had to happen and we were there to grab hold of that opportunity because the time was right. After we sold that company, we took our, our hardware division out for computer services and we took that to number 184 on the A500 fastest growing privately held companies in America. Thank you. We recognized that the time was right to sell that company because people weren't going to spend money to maintain computer hardware. When your printer breaks, do you go have it fixed? Most of the time, no. You pay a couple hundred dollars and you get a new one. So we recognized that the time was right to sell that company. During that time, when we were running Alpha Computer Services, we ran a service to co-locate and um, do work for network marketing companies. That's how we learned the business. We did customer service. We um, did compensation plans, paid the comp plan, ship, did everything for new startup network marketing companies. And we learned there was a lot that we could do to help this industry. So when Randy had a knee problem and we went out to California because President Obama had just passed a bill in Congress to allow stem cell research in the United States, we met Dr. Newman and he was able to help Randy for seven years to avoid knee replacement surgery, which Randy finally had to have last February. But for seven years, he didn't. But the whole point was, we went out there for Randy's knee, and we came away with a dream, an idea. We recognized that there was a serum that people would love to have. After I tried it and used it for several weeks, and I saw the difference in me, I thought, this is an opportunity for network marketing. This is something we can share with everyone and give everyone the hope and the dream of a business opportunity and amazing products, anti-aging products, which we call Youth Enhancement. Yes, all of you are beautiful out there. <laughs> the timing, that this was the time for Jeunesse. This was the time to present an opportunity with the platform that we have been working on for 15 years and learning about, but we recognize that. And that's how Jeunesse got started on 090909 at 9 p.m. The point for you is, if this is your time, are you going to recognize it and grab a hold of it and build it and make it your home and your family? And we hope that you will, because we believe we're providing you with an incredible family, an incredible opportunity, and cutting edge products. Everything you could want, and I hope you join us and join the family. Thank you.